G'day, g'day, g'day. This is Charlie and I'm coming to you today from my locals community with your daily dose of business inspiration. Come across and join me at askcharlieleathan.locals.com. You can join in the conversation there or you can follow along the conversation there for free or you can become a supporter for $2 US per month. That allows you to join in the conversation, add your comments, add your own uh, content uh, conversation to, to the community and become a contributing member. Apart from that, that $2 also helps me to create content like this, like my podcasts and like my tutorials. Let's get on though and talk about today's daily dose of business inspiration. This one uh, is a little bit of a follow-on from yesterday's, and this one is, it's not a quote, it's just something that uh, I picked, I've picked up in my many years of doing self-development, and I'm going to say, like with most things, I am far from perfect with this stuff, I, I tend to know it, I try to practice it, and I am imperfect at it. However, you can only be responsible for your own actions. That's something that someone said some, said to me once when I was getting really, really frustrated. And I have a habit. Oh, it's not just me. I mean, I, I know others do it. People get really, really frustrated when people around them, in inverted commas, won't do the right thing. <laughs> and the point is, you can't compel someone to do something against their own will. All you can do is be responsible for your own actions. All you can do is say, I think this is the right thing to do and I'm going to go and do it this way and lead by example. Now, I, even, even when I was raising my children, um, we, we got to a point or I got to a point um, in, their, in, their, in their development and when they got it to a particular age, I stopped trying to compel them. Like When they were little kids, sure, you've got to compel them at times to come inside you've got to compel them to get in the car you've got to do some there's some compulsion in all of it but then there's a point that they get to in their development in their age that I can't compel them anymore they need to start making decisions on their own as to how they're going to live their lives and how they're going to do things if they don't do the right things there are consequences if they do do the right things there are still consequences generally good better consequences than if they don't do the right thing and it's the same with your workmates. It's the same with the people who work for you. You can say to them or contract to you, you can say, hey, listen, this is how I want things done. Here's my process. Here's my procedures. Here's the, the how to on how to do it and hand it over. If your staff member decides that they don't want to do it that way, they either need to come back and say, well, I don't want to do it that way. Here's a, here's a reason why. And that's probably okay. Uh, it's, still a con it's still a conversation then as to whether you want to accept that or not. Or they go and do it some other way. It doesn't work because it's not being done the way you want it to. And then you have they, then they have to face the consequences of those actions. Okay, that's a severe uh, example. But it also goes to when you're out on the street or when you're out doing something and someone walks in front of you or you want them to stop doing something, you can't compel that. You need to just, sorry, I feel you need to just let it go and say, I can't be responsible for your actions. I'm responsible for my actions. I'm going to act in a way that is cognizant with my own sets of values and my own morals. And apart from that, I'm not going to let your behavior upset me or affect me and that's normally what happens with us is that we get ourselves so riled up because someone's not doing the right thing that it then starts to affect us and it starts to affect the way that we interact with things and it starts to affect the way we are doing things so I always try to and you hear me say this a lot I take a step back I take a deep breath and I think to myself in cases like this you're not responsible for their actions. You're responsible for your actions. If you arc up at this point, if you get angry and start yelling and screaming, and I've got to tell you, I used to do this, that's what you're responsible for. So you can either act like an adult and walk away and be calm, or you can act like a child and yell and scream. I, 
it's just something that I I've learned through 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 life. It's ways I've learned to deal with my own anger and my own levels of frustration when I get to that. I don't know if that's going to work for you. I don't know if this is something that you struggle with, but I I really wanted to just sort of share that with you today. I'd love to get your your ideas. I'd love to get your thoughts on what I've just said. Please leave some comments below. Uh, come across to Locals. Ask charlieletham.locals.com and join in the conversation there. If you can, leave a review for this video. They do help the content go further. Uh, maybe share this content with someone else if you think that they it might be of use to them. There we go. I'll slow down so I don't trip over my own words. And of course, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell so that you find out when I drop more content. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. <music>